Hello everybody and welcome to the Woodrop Hotel in Southport where the internet sucks and the rooms are small. Ah. Welcome back to my channel guys. This is episode 6 of reviewing my subscribers hair. Holy moly, that's six. We've been doing this for six months now. Can you believe that? Coolest thing ever. Uh, love doing this. You guys submit your images through the link that's in the description box. That link is live forever, by the way. So if you ever want to get the chance to be featured in one of these videos, submit me a picture. And if I like your question and your picture, then I will feature it here. So rolling into it, again, I've got five people who I'm going to just review in depth. And then I've got five special mentions that I thought were really great, but couldn't fit in the video because they do go for quite some time. All right, so moving on to subscriber number one. This is Richard Verbeek. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Yep, my God, my eyes are getting so bad. Maybe it's because I look at a, com a computer way too much. Okay, so here is image number one from Richard. So yeah, what I was really fascinated about this hair was the amount of height I can see there, along with the lack of curl. Like it doesn't, it looks like wavy hair, right? Love the color. You guys know I love the blonde hair that I can't have. We always want what we can't have. But yeah, that was the most interesting thing I thought about this image. And then Victor's question was, I can't remember the last time I visited the barber. I'm a bit nervous to go for a trim actually. My question is, does my hair need a trim by now? And how can I prepare myself for the first barber visit in a long time. By the way, awesome YouTube channel. Your videos help me out a lot. Thanks, man. Ah, that's so sweet. Um, all right, if we go and look at your image, so image number one, your hair is looking quite long right now, and I would very well say you can get that into a man bun, depending on what where you've grown it out from. So have you grown it out from a disconnected undercut? And depending on how much stuff you actually do to your hair, will depend on whether you're going for a trim right now. In terms of preparing for a trim, I always say that you should always have a hairdresser that you regularly go back to and that you trust. So I have two hairdressers that I regularly go back to and I trust them very well because over time I've built that relationship and that's Josh and Dale. And I know that I can hand over like my preferences of what I want for my hair. So if I say to Josh, I want an inch off, he knows to just take an inch off and I've never been unsatisfied with the product that he's given me. In terms of when you're ready for your trim, yeah, it's all up to you and the definite is if you see split ends or dryness, like my ends usually go like, like a zigzag, like a zipper almost, or the ends will just split. As soon as I see multiple of them coming about, I definitely know it's time to go and check into the hairdresser. Check into the hairdresser, it's like hospital. I'm trying to look really hard for some split ends in your picture and I'm not really seeing any. But that's something you'll have to like closely monitor for yourself. And that's probably the best advice I can give. Find one hairdresser that you really trust and that you know will do the right job for you and then you're good. So moving on to Richard's other images. So this is image number two here where he's given us a side profile or back profile of his uh, man bun or man pony, whatever you want to call it, or bun for all of you internet trolls that like to tell me it's not a man bun. I like this, I think it looks good. I think it probably looks, this is just judging by the photo as well. I don't actually know if it is dry or not. It looks a little bit dry from this second image that I'm looking at in the first image you know, you've got it all tied back and it looks like you've got it in some sort of messy low bun, which I thought was pretty cool too. So Richard, thank you so much for your submission and cool hair. And if you're ready for the barber, just going back to my further points, make sure you know the hairdresser and you'll be all good. All right, and moving on to subscriber number two. So this is Roy Taylor or Tita, Teta. <laughs> my eyes are really bad. So um, Roy's Instagram handle is You'll see that when you edit Kim. <laughs> so this is my favorite picture from Roy, <laughs> particularly because of the dinosaur cap that he's wearing. It just looks so funky and amazing. It looks like something you'd see on acid. I just thought it had lots of character and was very cool. <laughs> That's why it was my favorite image. But getting into the real shit, let's have a look at his actual hair. You, Roy, are possibly, oh no, we actually did Alex Diamond last week. I was gonna say you're the first ginger that's been on here, but that's false. We had Alex Diamond and he was a ginger too. But you're the second ginger we've had on here. The density of your hair looks very, very good. I think uh, you'd be able to play around with this a lot if you were to just continue growing it to the full length, which brings me around to your question, which I thought was, bloody awful. You've asked me, should I continue growing out my hair? I've been growing it out now for about 10 months and I really like it, but a lot of people think I should cut it. Now, 
I just need to reiterate, probably like I do every time I do this, is do not listen to anybody else. If you've just spent 10 months growing this out, it would be stupid to stop now, you know what I mean? Give it another, you know, four months and you're gonna have like a really beautiful, long, luscious head of hair and then you can make the decision for yourself that you like it or you don't. Particularly in the stage that you're in now, where it's really at a medium sort of bob length, like it's not, this would be hard to work with. And I feel ya, like it's probably, other people are probably looking at it and going, ooh, but little do they know like what the end goal is gonna be for you. And if you let all those things creep in and actually change your mind into cutting it all off, then you're never gonna know what you look like with fully long hair. Like before I had hair this long, when my hair was your length, I would be like, oh, how am I ever gonna get through this? Like everything that was going through my mind was just like, nah, that's not gonna work. And then as soon as it got to this length that it is now, I went, holy hell, I'm so glad I did not cut it. Now that's gonna be what happens to you if you keep growing this. If you cut it, you'll never know and you'll just resent probably those people and then feel like, fuck, I've gotta grow it out again. In my opinion, keep growing. Okay, and then this is the side profile picture. It does look a little bit buffy and probably dry as well. I think you should start using maybe a leave-in conditioner and definitely just keep growing it because your density and this is just gonna look great when it's all grown out. Okay, bottom line. Tell everyone to fuck off. Thanks for your submission. All right, and the next subscriber is from Cameron Kent. I just wanted to say it like that, I don't know why. Cameron Kent. So, <laughs> here's my favorite image from Cameron. Yours was amazing, actually. I was so happy to get this submission. So I looked at this first image that we've got right here, and I went, whoa, okay, he's growing a lot. And you've also added the beard in. Your beard, it looks like it's getting really long as well. Are you growing both of those out? This was my favorite image, just because the image that I'm gonna show next, insert image, is your before shot. This is so cool, I haven't seen, um, there's been no submission of such a dramatic change. Like, it looks so different, but in a good way as well. I think you've got the real Thor look going on. You still look pretty handsome and cool with the short hair as well. It looks like you've got very thick, dense hair, hard to manage. But also, I just really liked the contrast of these two images that you showed. And then in the third image that we've got here, I'm really kind of digging your curl pattern as well. You'd have really good Thor hair. Just putting it that way. It just really demonstrates how much long hair can change a face. And yeah, it's just the perfect example. And then going to your question, you've asked, how do I get more volume in the top of my hair? So but judging by the picture, like it doesn't look like you're lacking that much volume, but I'm guessing, are you asking how like, particularly like what I've got here, like more volume like this? The best way to do this is by using like some sort of volume powder or um, backcombing it a little bit. It doesn't look like your hair's too coarse, so backcombing could be a good solution for that. Like just getting the comb in there and then doing a couple little backcombs to help it stand up or looking into a volumizing powder or a volumizing foam. There's something that's coming in at the moment. I think Davro also just bought one out. Haven't used it yet. Sorry, Andrew, <laughs> you sent it to me ages ago. I just haven't been around to using it. That's probably the best advice I can give you on that one. Although I'm very surprised by looking at the density of how dense your hair is when it's short, I'm surprised that you're even having volume issues. So unless I like actually look and see your hair, I don't really know exactly what to recommend there. But if you are having troubles, I would just say a volumizing powder or a volumizing foam or back combing. There you go, that's three things. That's actually a fucking lot, okay? I'm really, really pleased that you submitted this and I really loved your transformation. I do, I will just say this, <laughs> I like you better without the beard, but hey, it's all up to you, whatever you like, but in my preference, like just when I'm looking at these, I really wanna know what you look like with the long hair but without the beard. <laughs> If you know what I mean? <laughs> That's just kind of what my like inquisitive brain came up with. But thanks for your submission and um, your star. All right, and moving on to subscriber number four. So this one is from Sebastian. Now, Sebastian is a first timer as well. So this one actually didn't come through the form that I leave in the description box for reviewing subscribers hair. I was actually scrolling through my Facebook group um, just having a look at some of the submissions that people had been putting on there. And Sebastian's was one. And the reason, I not only thought he had really nice hair, but the other thing that I thought was really interesting was the question that he asked in the Facebook group was, what is my hair type, 
right? And I thought that this would be a perfect opportunity for me to like kind of answer that question, seeing as like in this content batch as well, I've just done a video called like what, how to tell your hair type. So we're actually gonna use that method to try and identify his hair type in this. But let's have a look at his first image. So this is his image. This is the one that he put in the Facebook group along with his question, what's my hair type? And these are some other variations of his hair. So we can see that it looks a little bit coarse in the back. Very, very thick hair, quite nice curl. It's not too curly. I'm gonna guess already that this is like maybe a 2C, <laughs> but we'll go and compare it next to the images. All right, so we're back on Naturally Curly now, and Sebastian, to answer your question, we're going to use my method that I used in my video. So looking at your hair in these images, which we've got a very good, like, We've got a side profile, we've got a couple of front arms. You definitely have wavy hair, so I would categorize you somewhere in the two section. I wouldn't categorize you, well, I'm looking here at 2A. It looks like a very loose, loose wave, almost like nothing waves, and I don't think you have that. But if you have a look at 2C and 2B, I think you're kind of like a mix of these. If you look at the lady on, I mean, you don't look like the lady, but like I'm looking at hair types. On the side profile image that you sent, we can see a bit of that fuzz near your ear, and we can see that fuzz on her hairline there. But if you look at her curl, she's actually got quite, her curl is a little bit tighter. It's more of a tight wave, and you've got more of a loose wave kind of like the girl in 2B. So I would say that you're somewhat a mix between those two hair types, just by looking at the photos that I've seen. You can obviously go and use this method yourself and go and like compare your images to what you're seeing here as well. But in my opinion, I'm, I reckon you're somewhere in the middle of there. Probably more to the 2B side. See, how cool is that? Now all you have to do is go and type in best products for 2B hair. Then all you would have to do from there is research like the best products for 2B. But in saying that, I could be totally blind and wrong. You might have a completely different opinion of what you see on these images. However, if you want my opinion, that's what I think your hair type is, somewhere in the middle of there. Thanks so much for not your submission, but yeah, thanks for letting me use your images. I did send you a comment on the Facebook group asking if I could use them. So, And thanks for emailing those through. Really appreciate it. Oh, I love this guy. Moving on to subscriber number five. So, mis uh, subscriber. Subscriber number five is Muhammad Azari. These are my favorite images. The reason I picked this one, I have a real thing for this hairdo. There's a guy I follow called David Delara that's just got this like poofy little curly round hairstyle. I call it the buff look. I've got like a whole Pinterest board that's dedicated to it. This reminded me of that. I really, really love that look. And if I were to ever cut my hair, I would probably go for the buff look myself before even going short again. But yeah, that's, I think, has this hairstyle has a bit of a soft spot for me, so I like it. So if we have a look at Muhammad's pictures, this is my favorite image, just because it shows the buff look at its finest. And then we've got a couple of other cool little pics over here, one with him wearing headphones, and we can really see the like craziness of his curls. Does look a little bit dry as well in this image. That could just be the imaging. It does look a little bit overexposed, which can make hair look drier than it actually is. And then we've got a side profile view as well of this buffy hair look, and it's just my freaking favorite. So <laughs> that's why I had to pick you. If we go to Muhammad's question, it is a long one. I'm going to try and read this as fluently as possible. So Muhammad's question was I really do know not. <laughs> I fucked that up. I really do not know what I should be going for in my hair region because it's the first time doing anything significant, aka growing my hair out. I would really use some advice on how to take care of my hair in health and appearance. By the way, I took the test on Naturally Curly and my hair is 3A type. Hope that helps. Thanks, my dude. All right, so in terms of styling your hair um, for 3A, if you got that on the test, I would also recommend going and like checking out the just the chart and trying to like have a look to see if there's any better indication of what you might be. But honestly, the best thing to do is Google best products for X hair type, so 3A or whatever, to go and find your styling products. But in terms of like 3A hair, you're in the three section, so you've probably got quite dry hair as well. Always, 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 the best thing is to use a leave-in conditioner like as a rule of thumb for your type of hair to A, keep it in healthy condition, and the less dry it is, 
the less likelihood you have of getting split ends. Split ends mean really unhealthy dry hair and that's what you want to avoid. So if I could give you one main tip, it would be to start using one of them. And then also, particularly with your hair type, just by looking at it, you could definitely froth a keratin treatment. It would just do wonders for this hair, especially with the length you've got it at and the type of curl you have. I'm very, very impressed with this hair. Um, in terms of hair health as well, I do have a few videos on that. I'll put them up in the cards um, where I talk about all of my healthy hair products. I could rattle the whole list off right now, but it's just probably gonna take up more time on this video, which I've probably already gone about 20 minutes, so. But yeah, Muhammad, thank you so much for your submission. Love your hair. I hope you found that answer like somewhat useful. And yeah, enjoy my other videos and check out the best products for 3A hair and let me know. All right, and that is it for my five in-depth reviews, guys. Now it's time for the special mentions. So we've got Jaleel, or Jay, he put in brackets. I really love this one. This is like another buff look. I really like these curls. Stunning. We also had Sharon GV. <laughs> Love your hair, thank you. We also had one from John. We had one from Jacob. And we also had one from Eno Z. I thought these hairstyles were all like really, really cool. Um, thank you so much for putting them in. Uh, I really appreciate it. And if you do wanna get a chance to be featured in any of these videos, uh, head to the description box where there'll be a link that'll take you to a web page that you can submit it from. Okay, nice and easy. And that pretty much concludes my Reviewing Subscribers Hair episode six. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I really, really, really do love doing this. Looking at your hairstyles every single month is just like so fun. Um, gives me something else to look at rather than my own freaking face in the mirror. So yeah, keep the photos coming through. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button so I get really popular in the YouTube search engine and I'll see you next week for another video, okay? Goodbye!